So I'll right click back to the Akaba menu here. And the last option here is called the Erase Tool. The Erase Tool is determined based on the size of your pen settings here. So whatever this is set up for, if it's a real small pencil tip, rounded, then I'm going to erase in a rounded tip uh, tool here. You got to left click to release your eraser once you start drawing with it. Otherwise, you could right click and erase this information that you just removed. The eraser is only going to work on your drawings. It's not going to work on this original video unless you had done a stamp. So now if I left click and draw around on this circle, if I let go of my left click button right now, I'm still actually doing the erase. But if I right click, you can see that it undoes it. So it's essential in a lot of the drawing tools here to left click to start and drop your position and then left click again to make your decision. In this box here we have a couple of other options. One is your special button and special allows you to clear off and reset the whole image. It's kind of almost like a default so we can start fresh. Set image will fill your whole screen with a color that you have in your uh, color palette. Fill options give you a few other options here to uh, come in and make some adjustments to that fill bucket to maybe make it uh, fill in a color or a pixel color of video a little more effectively. This will require you to do a little experimentation based on if you're filling in a drawing or you're filling in a video uh, with that paint bucket here from the boxes. So I'll cancel out of this and close out my special. And of course I'll clear out the image so we can come back and see our video scene. The last part of the special filters here in Akaba is a grid. And the grid here gives you an option to set up a thin and visible grid here so that you can set up and activate a grid with this little button down here in the corner. If I set my grid up to be a thick grid and I activate the grid down here below, any kind of drawing I take on here, you can see as I'm kind of moving around, this is snapping to those grids. A thicker grid means that these drawings would snap to that grid point. This allows me to kind of align these drawings a little easier and get them closer to the same shape. Without the grid activated, I'll deactivate it here. Now when I use my drawings, now I have more of a free flow. So now my drawings make it a little more difficult to come in here and try to perfectly align these drawings and make them the same shape. So this grid helps you align anything that you're doing as a drawing on your video screen. The effect button down here, this is very similar to PIP Studio. Uh, you might want to check PIP Studio out to get a full range of all these different effects. But basically it allows you to take your drawings, move them on the screen, or fade them in. If you want to have these drawings fade in on the screen as an end point, and maybe you want to have them move out of the screen, moving up so, these information, uh, so this information moves up, and you can set how long it takes it to come from this point to move off the screen. So that is the effects option here. Preview allows you to get kind of a little preview here before you exit out of the Akaba to show you that it's going to maybe take on and use those effects attributes. Again, it is a compressed image, so it's not going to be as clean, um, but it does give you an idea of how maybe the effects are coming on or off the screen. The other option down here is the zoom tool. You can always activate this zoom tool, and this zoom represents the crosshairs that you're seeing right here up on this zoom screen and you can increase the magnification. Of course, that is also going to enlarge your pixels. So you can see we're getting real fine in here at looking at specific pixels in this screen. But setting it down to a lower zoom range, you can kind of see that you're moving along the mountain range here with that zoom tool. And you can choose to either activate or deactivate your crosshairs or move the zoom tool to the left or right. Deactivating the zoom tool is as simple as just left clicking to deactivate it. So left clicking brings it up, left clicking there releases that zoom tool. So exiting out of here, we can click on this little wrench to bring you back to the edit menu. In this case, we would have a scene in the video clips scene bin with these green drawings on here. And we could actually use Akaba to maybe key out these colors to replace with video using another add-on package like Blue Box World. If we come back out to the edit menu, we are still going to be in the special bin here. Now one of my tips also in Akaba is before you actually built this effect, you would be clicking OK here to build the new layer with those green squares, is that you might want to pause here in Akaba just a little bit before you hit OK to build the effect. 
This is going to help you keep the current drawings as part of the uh, save in the Casablanca. The Casablanca is usually doing a little save in the background for you. And in case you've done a complex drawing here that required a lot of RAM, if you got any kind of error here, you'd want to make sure that when you boot back up, you can come right back to this scene and load those drawings right back up the way you had them. Uh, by giving this little pause before you build it, give you a protection by putting that into the autosave memory. The other two options here we're going to briefly cover. Uh, this demo is kind of a longer one to cover the Akaba program. But basically the retouch mode, when you left click on retouch, everything's going to be basically the same. And it does refresh the scene because we are using a new mode. But you'll see a lot of the options here are all the same for erase, filled, outlines, your color palette, drawing, pencils, etc. But we're going to have a couple other new options on here. And I'm going to pick a new scene in the scene bin to work with. Now I might choose this mountain clip here just to have something fresh to look at. And I'll go back into Akaba and I'll choose Retouch. When we go into a new scene, you'll notice it's giving me a new warning here. Because we worked with that previous scene, it actually keeps that drawing information that we've done in the draw mode as part of that clip. So if you wanted to come back in and start over, you can come right back in there and start drawing. When you pick a new scene in the scene bin, Akaba's got to refresh and you'll give you this warning message to say I'm going to start new so all those previous drawings will be gone. It just keeps those in the temporary memory of that old scene you were working with. So now I'm working with a new scene and you'll see a couple of new commands here and these are the only ones we're going to really cover here in the uh, retouch section. Um, the first one here is these cloning tools. And the cloning tools are also dependent based on what you use here in your pencils. So if I use a thicker pencil here, and I'll get rid of my uh, thickness of my blur, so I have a sharper edge and a wider pencil tip, I can use one of the two clone tools to clone a portion of this video image and paste it down in another location. Now this is going to be working as frame by frame as compared to the draw mode. Draw mode will put your drawings across the entire video. So if you don't have a scene that's locked down on a tripod and it's panning or moving around, those drawings will stay, still stay locked around where, they, where you had them on the screen. Retouch is working frame by frame. So these little arrows down here actually allow you to go from frame to the next frame. We're just progressively moving frame by frame to the right through this seven second scene or going back frame by frame. This little middle one here allows you to shuttle through the whole video clip looking of course at our fields because we are looking at the uh, field of this in the Akaba menu. But I can go right down here to the two second mark and say maybe I want to do a stamp somewhere at this one particular frame. Here's our cloning tools. Now the solid cloning stamp here, if I left click on this, I can grab a piece of video here as a uh, clone. I'll clone that part of the mountain range. And I'll take it up here to this little bit of snow and left click to drop it down and left click to release it. And you can see I've basically taken this and cloned it into this area here. So that's what the clone solid stamp is doing for you. And that's only doing it again on this one frame. This lighter shades clone is actually going to take a clone of a particular part of your video and actually going to repeat this video over and over wherever you decide to restamp it. So if I left click and start pulling down and left clicking drawing here, I'm actually repeating this portion of the video here. So I'm actually taking this whole video scene and restarting it over here as long as I left click and hold it down. So you can take portions of video and reclone major sections of it instead of little pieces. That's what this one is doing for you. Again, this is only working frame by frame. So if I left click on this frame arrow, I'm now going to the next frame and you can see the drawings and stamps that I've done have been removed. So you'll find specific applications here for the retouch, such as maybe cleaning up a photograph that has uh, some damaged edges up here. You might clone up some of the uh, edge of the photo to repeat up there. Also really good for any kind of digital hits from your mini DV tapes to maybe uh, clean up an artifact that might pop up here on the screen or in your video that's only occurring on one frame. So we'll come back out of here and the last section of Akaba is called image processing. And the image processing menu, I'll come back out and choose another clip. I'll go back to this one here.
Image processing is a better way to get an example of what the mask is going to do for you. Um, right now in image processing, you can incorporate all these different filters that you have uh, also free of part of the Casablanca, like control image or control color, to manipulate the overall RGBs of the scene or even the brightnesses and saturations. So you actually can combine a couple of filters at the same time in Aqaba using the overall image processing. Now if I set these back to a closer area here, back to the 100%, one of the other options in Aqaba is something called a mask. And this is with this little theatrical mask here. And this says, when I click check mark here, I'm activating to apply a mask on the video. And what a mask is going to do is it's going to let you choose a portion of video to draw around and say, leave, have this section be left alone by the commands that you might give either in your drawings, in your draw modes, or in this case, some of these image processing filters. For example, if I click on my mask here, we're going to see we have our standard draw tools here and over in your color palette is now black and this is talking about the different levels of transparency a black here means we're completely protecting a scene or blocking it out from any kind of changes that you make on the video the lighter shades of transparency means it'll start taking on some of those levels such as if we did an RGB here or change the reds then some of the red would pop into the area that you mask off we're going to use a solid black here, so we're going to block out a portion of video and hit OK. And I'm going to use my filled freehand tool here. And this is also, again, determined based on the pencil tip and blurred and edge you selected. But and you can see in Aqaba, you can actually roll all the way over to the underscan area here. But I'm just going to do a real quick one for the purpose of this demo. And left click along the range here of these trees and take it all the way out to the edge, all the way to the top all the way across and then back down to my original starting point. And you'll see that I've masked this area off. If I took the time and I added my zoom tool, I could probably come along this mountain range and set the mask to be real clean along this edge. Uh, but once I have it on the screen there, you'll notice that as I change the video, I masked off the sky to not be affected by these changes I'm making here in the rest of the video. So this area got masked off, completely blocked off from all of these particular changes I'm making. So you can select and say certain areas of the video may be masked off and protected from changes that you're doing in drawings or these things in image processing. Again, image processing is working like the draw mode and this is going to apply across the whole video scene in your scene bed. So the whole six second scene will have this mask locked down in this area. So if this is a moving or panning shot, then this mask will still be locked up in this area as you pan. So keep that in mind if you are working with image processing and your masks here, um, is that you probably want to have this on a stable, locked down tripod shot. So Aqaba is a really nice program to add to your system to give you some abilities to do some manipulations, such as in this example here, using stamps to have little parts of uh, video come in for some montages. You can also use it in this example here, we're seeing a, a nice level drawing using drawing to put on several different colors and shades to this graphic. Um, you can also use it to set up chroma key error areas on your video so that you can key them out after your first layer of Aqaba and using effects like Blue Box World to replace it with video uh, to start giving you some more abilities to provide more information on your video screen a little more creatively than the standard types of shapes that something like PIP Studio might come with. So Aqaba is a really great program allowing you to draw, retouch and clean up your video or apply masks to uh, set off an area to be not manipulated by other portions of video. So a very nice powerful package to add to your video productions.